Hey friends, welcome to FX Yogi. In today's video, under the fundamental factors that affect currency values, we are about to discuss about the Eurozone. The European Union, EU, is a brotherhood of 27 member states which started from a tiny gang of six neighboring states in 1951. By the magical powers of the Treaty of Maastricht, it then gave into a large economic and political bloc making it the largest economic region in the world. Talk about playing a huge role in international trade and global economic affairs. Among these EU member states, 19 countries adopted the Euro as their common currency. These nations comprise the Eurozone, which is also called the European Monetary Union EMU or Euroland. Members of this elite club are Austria, Belgium, Cyprus, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia and Spain. Aside from adopting a common currency, these nations also share the same monetary policy set by the European Central Bank ECB. Let's now get into the economic overview of the Euro. The Eurozone, which comprises more than half of the nations in the EU, ranks as the largest economy with a GDP of $18.45 trillion in 2011. Being a services-oriented economy, services account for a oofing 70% of its GDP. On top of that, the Eurozone takes pride in being the second most attractive investment market for domestic and international investors. As an economic union, the Eurozone has a standardized system of laws, particularly for trade. The size of their entire economy makes the Eurozone a major player in the international trade arena. Because the individual countries are grouped as one entity, it enables them to facilitate trade easier, mostly with its number one trade partner, the US. This active participation in international trade also has a significant impact on the role of the euro as a reserve currency. This is because countries that transact with the eurozone need to have a significant amount of reserve currencies in order to reduce exchange rate risk and minimize transaction cost. That's all for today. Let's catch up in the next video with more interesting content. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.